light and peace in Christ Jesus our Lord. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, darkness is not dark to you, O Lord. The night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. Let us pray. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Now in the time of this mortal life in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. This is a reading from Matthew. Just then a woman who had hemorrhaged for 12 years slipped in from behind and lightly touched Jesus' robe. She was thinking to herself, if I can just put a finger on his robe, I'll get well. Jesus turned, caught her at it. Then he reassured her, courage, daughter. You took a risk of faith and now you're well. The woman was well from then on. They say that um, the opposite of faith is doubt, but I submit to you that actually the opposite of faith is certainty. Uh, the woman did not know what her life would look like. Uh, I think she just had a hunch or she had faith or this sense or this inkling that something was going to make her well and that her life will be, would be better. And it turned out that uh, that was true. She also had to work for it. She, she did have the faith, but she also had to take some action on her own. And that says a lot to us. Sometimes we have to take risks. Uh, and sometimes we don't have the guarantee of certainty that the things that we do and the leaps of faith that we take will turn out in predictable ways. Uh, we just have to believe uh, in ourselves and in God that uh, it will be good and that something beautiful will ensue. Uh, and I think that is the main lesson from the woman today uh, in this gospel reading. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, creator of the changes of day and night, giving, giving rest to the weary, renewing the strength of those who are spent, bestowing upon us occasions of song in the evening. As you have protected us in the day that is past, so be with us in this coming night. Keep us from every sin, every evil, and every fear, for you are our light and salvation and the strength of our life. To you be glory for endless ages. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.
Every time I try to make it on my Every time I try to stand and start to fall And all those lonely roads that I travel There was Jesus When the life I live I'm a bird.